All right, this is a quick uh, little video showing how to pull off something that someone on the forums was asking. They were talking about transitioning between levels, like coming from an outdoor level and going to, let's say, an indoor level like a house, and then when they would zone out of the house, that they would resume from where they walked in rather than being spawned at the spawn point or wherever. So, I'm going to demo it real quick. This is just a third person default um, template. So I transitioned into this level. This would be your house. And then when I zone out, I am right where I left off and I'm facing out the opposite direction. Do that again. If you notice, I can't zone back in for a couple of seconds and that's because I set up a, a latch to it which could be modified if he needed it to but alright um, first things first you're gonna need a custom game instance so blueprint class uh, click this drop down and type in game instance and you base it off of this one right here Ooh, I Excuse me. Um, name it something very unique. Don't name it like game instance. Uh, you need it to be something that you'll recognize. And within it, create two variables. Create one like gone outdoors uh, or indoors. I mean, that's uh, a boolean. Set it default to false. And then create a one like player transform, and it's going to be of type transform. So this can store the two things that we need to know. And then when you're done with that, you save it. And you're done with it. Now you go into your project settings. Under maps and modes, you'll see this last one option here. And it will be game instance class. And you change it to the one that you made. And then close out of that. You're done. So you'll need a trigger volume. Um, depending on how you're doing it, the person in the forums was talking about having uh, more or less an AND function where you are in the trigger zone and you hit like the use button to open the door. Uh, but this will work, it could work either way, but this method I'm just using straight walking into it. Um, so with the trigger box selected, you'll right click, you'll go add event and then you'll choose it's not in here right now because I already have them but you'll see on begin uh, overlap and end overlap you'll need both of those so in your map uh, we'll go ahead and we'll begin with the overlap part or no we'll do the begin play uh, first thing you're gonna want to do is cast to your custom GI that you made so you just right click get game instance and then you will cast two and it should be one of like two options and just choose yours you need it to be yours not like any other one so off of that you'll drag off and you'll say get and you'll get your two variables here you'll need both of them so you make a branch and you're going to check if you had gone indoors before you loaded this level. Meaning you were in this level, you went indoors, it gets flagged that you've gone indoors and then you have now come back out. It needs to know whether you're coming out from being inside of a building or if you transitioned here because you walked from you know the forest into a village or something there was a loading screen in between and you'll need your player transform because that's what we're going to uh, use to reposition the characters so you're gonna get your player character and then you're gonna set actor transform it's gonna be equal to the key that you stored in the GI and I'll get to this part in a minute because we need to set up a custom event for that. Um, so then on begin overlap, uh, there's a small delay here and it's for a reason because when you first zone in, 
the initialization I've found can be kind of fluky sometimes like this won't fire off in time this close the gate won't fire off in time to close this and it can fire through and literally get you stuck in an infinite loop of transitioning between the loading screens uh, realistically it says it's more like a quarter second would be fine so this can be replaced if you're doing um, a, a two-step authentication essentially where you're in the zone and you hit a use button that is triggered by you pushing a key but in the event that you're not doing that this is how you would pull this off so you have a gate is set to normally open or starts open um, you need to create two custom events just right click custom event name them and you now have a custom event so you need one re trigger to re reopen you can call this open the gate uh, and this one close the gate so they're going to be tied to the open and close inputs and then um, the main thread coming through on the enter so you want to compare the other actor that stepped into the trigger box and then you want to see if it's equal to the uh, player character and if it is then you're going to cast your game instance again and you're going to set player transform and this boolean you're going to flag to true and then you're going to open the name of the level that you want to open inside of here this is just a collapsed uh, function uh, you can do that just by right clicking and collapse the function and since it's not changing anything it doesn't need an execution pin you can set it to pure and it will create one like this um, but within here we're getting the player character we're getting their transform so off of that you just say get actor trans transform uh, and then you right click the split pin struct and then you're going to split the rotator struct as well uh, so what you want to do is you want to add 180 degrees to the yaw because the yaw is the um, you know, player's orientation and the z-axis like how are they turn forward or backward and then you recombine that Um, sorry I had a burp. You recombine that back in with the modified rotated z-axis and then you make a transform and plug everything else back into there and then uh, you know you're good to go. So then when you've come back from the other level, the indoor level you can do the same kind of check here. You're going to make sure it's the player that triggered it, not something else. Then you're going to do this one time. The reason why you're only going to do it once is because, uh, let's say you teleport back in, and or zone back in at this spot. You're within the trigger volume, and then you, I've got a delay out here. And if during that time of this delay, if I run out and in, it's going to keep resetting this timer. And it's just easier to just do this once. So it only executes this one time. But it will um, cast to the game instance and then it will set the variable to false. And after it does that, it um, it's going to start a timer by function name and you name this the um, whatever you name the part that opens your gate so in this case it's re trigger delay and I said for two seconds so that's where that'll come into play and then under the maps you will need another map And in there, you will create another trigger box, and you'll just do the same thing. You'll add an event um, on overlap, and this one's easy. Make sure it's the player, and then you open the level, and that's it. So, um, 
back on the main one there is one more thing to add it's important okay so you zone back in and you, you know, set the player location or transform and then you close the gate but you also want to pull this last step in right here you right click and you type in get player controller and then off of that you say set control rotation and you want to set this rotation equal to so you just come out here and you say break and then you want to set it equal to that rotator that you made so um, what this does because if you don't have this here the camera will be facing in the wrong direction it'll be facing in like a default direction so when you zone in and then you would go back out the camera would be down here looking forward which is kind of silly so you put it this way and that's that so you wait outside two seconds you walk back and it'll zone you if during that time you were to go back and forth it won't do anything and then boom so that's that I know it's a little overly complicated but it uh, it works so hopefully that answers your question